All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out the Phil T1XS. Now this is a pair of truly wireless earbuds that come in at $60 and may very well be the best budget pair of truly wireless earbuds that you can get. But we're gonna check out some of the features, the specs, what you get inside the box, and see why I think it's worth the $60 price tag. Now to start with, these are available in both black and white, but one of the main features that separates these from some of the other true wireless earbuds is their app. Their app is not one of those that's just kind of thrown together. Uh, I feel like it compares to even Sony's app where it's giving you control over so many different things. You have a lot of built-in EQ settings. You can even EQ them yourself to get the sound that you want. You can change the different control functions that these have. They also have a low latency mode that you can switch between. You can change the sensitivity of the touch controls. There's just so much that you can do within an app that I didn't expect on a pair of truly wireless earbuds that's only 60 bucks. Now, as far as the technology that's in here, these do use Bluetooth 5.0, and they also have AAC and SBC playback. And on top of that, the three different low latency modes that they have, which is your music, your video, and your gaming, I didn't experience any kind of lag with videos, I didn't experience any lag with movies, and there is a very minimal lag when it comes to gaming. Now, as far as the IP rating, they do come in rated at IPX5. So this is not a pair that's completely waterproof, but it's easily a pair if you're gonna go out and use, if it starts to rain or if they get splashed on, they're gonna be completely fine. Just make sure that you do not submerge these into water. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, you're getting four sets of the silicone ear tips, and they've also included two sets of the ear fins as well. And that just allows you to keep them in your ears a little more stable. They don't move around any if you are gonna use them while doing something active. So it just makes for a much more secure fit. Now, as far as the charging cable, they've included a USB-C cable. Speaking of the charging cable, battery life is also very impressive on these because on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get six hours of use, where with the charging case, you can look to get around 24 hours total. And if you do happen to pick the earbuds up and they are dead, they also have a fast charge feature where a quick 15 minute charge will get you an hour and a half worth of use. Now moving over to looking at the case, the first thing that I wanna point out, and this is for both the black and the white models, they are glossy, they are slippery, they are easy to just slide out of your hand, so definitely make sure you have a good grip when you pick these up. Now on the back, you can see your USB-C input for charging, and then around on the front, it just has the single indicator light so that you can kinda of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now moving over to looking at the earbuds, I'm gonna say the same thing that I said about the case. These are very slippery, so always make sure you have a good grip or they're going to slip out and these are going to be easy to lose. Now as far as the controls on here, they do use touch controls and luckily you're able to go into the app to kind of unlock its potential because out of the box, uh, you're very limited with the controls, but they're doing that on purpose so it kind of cuts down on accidental touches. Uh, but you can go in and switch it into full mode, which allows you to control everything. And if you do notice that it does kind of pick up your touches a little easy or you feel like it's not registering, you can also go in the app and change the sensitivity of picking up the touch controls. And again, that's a feature that you don't see in a lot of more expensive earbuds. So I was really surprised to see it in this price range as well. And another huge feature that these earbuds have is they also have these smart sensors where it will auto pause when you take them out of your ear and it will auto resume when you put them back in. And again, that's another feature I'm not used to seeing on budget pair of truly wireless earbuds. Now for you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then as far as the microphones on here, I think they did an okay job. I don't think it's anything that's gonna blow anybody away, but you guys could be a judge by listening to a test here. All right guys, so here is a mic test using the Phil T1XS. Again, I think it does a very decent job of picking up my voice but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call public. So now before we talk about the sound, this is the part of the video where I like to play some samples from the earbuds themselves. That way you can hear some of the characteristics of the earbud itself, or if it sounded congested or muddy, you would notice that it's not going to pick up a lot of the details. But let's go ahead and check out some of the sound samples here.
So now that you guys have heard some samples, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I think the sound on these are fantastic. And that's just how they are out of the box. But the huge plus is if you want a little more bass, you can switch it into bass mode. Or if you want a little bit more clarity in the details, you can switch it over into treble. Um, I felt like the mode right out of the box just gave me a really good balance of both. Now both are pushed forward where you're getting a good thump in the bass, but really good clarity in the treble. I felt like mids were always where they needed to be. I was just very impressed with how these sound. Now again, like I said earlier, there are a bunch of different EQ settings you can switch between or you can just EQ them yourself so it's really hard to describe the sound when you can really alter it however you want to now as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging I felt like the T1 XS did this extremely well um, it felt like I was in a larger environment but I had no issues with telling where things were coming from or hearing the details and in instruments uh, I was just very pleased with the sound of these overall now, as great as I think these are, I do have a couple of cons, although they are minor. One is the controls, uh, and that's mainly just because it takes a little bit of getting used to because they are a little different. Uh, and then my only other complaint is the fact that the case and the earbuds are a little slippery. Again, that could have just been changed with a matte finish, but AirPods have this same glossy material and people are able to keep up with those, so maybe it's not that big a deal. But outside of that, I think you're getting a lot of bang for the buck. Uh, obviously, the app is bringing a lot of value. But on top of that, the earbuds themselves have very impressive sound. It's a very dynamic sound, but you can dial it back if you want to. These handle EQing very well, which a lot of earbuds don't. So I was extremely impressed with what these earbuds brought to the table. But guys, that's my video on the Phil T1XS. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.